want to start off by showing the problem we're facing with young people in the years they attend college. Christians who attend college leave Christianity in large numbers. It's pretty ugly. I used to have everybody stand up, but instead I'm going to draw something on the wall for you. There's a reason why the numbers are as bad as they are, and they are bad, disgustingly bad. Most young Christians, most young Christians will step away from the church in their college years. Some will come back, but most will step away. And I don't care who's doing the survey, the numbers look bad. They look anywhere from, say, 55 to 80 percent of Christians who claim to be Christians in their freshman year in college will no longer claim to be Christians by their senior year in college. And I don't care if it's Baptists, if it's Lutherans, if it's Assembly of God, I don't care who's doing the survey, if it's Gallup or Barna, if it's the secularists who are doing the surveys. It all looks the same. It's bad. Why is it happening? That's the problem, really. And I want to talk about that a little bit. We're going to divide all truth claims into two sides. On one side, we're going to put all objective claims. And on the other side, we're going to put all subjective claims. Now remember, objective claims are simply the stuff that's true for all of us, whether we like it or not, because our opinion has nothing to do with it. It's rooted in the object we're describing. And subjective claims, of course, are simply matters of opinion. They can vary from person to person because the person decides, the subject decides whether it's true.